to tonight's show. I am your host, Arelli. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to the channel. Uh, so, new branding, new logo, new intro. Uh, I'm, I'm really excited. I haven't updated my channel look in a while and I figured that, you know, since I'm starting a new and coming back to YouTube, I thought it was about time to change, you know, change things up and update things to kind of how I currently like things. So uh, I spent some time last week working on that and that is why I haven't really uploaded anything. Plus, my husband got sick and I'm sure most of you know that the man flu is way worse than anything that I could ever have. So, uh, whatever I had, I gave to him, you know, lovingly. And, uh, so yeah, so I had to take care of him. And in between, I tried to build. I did have some other, uh, stuff to record or, um, edit for you guys. Two of which are in Sulani. I think I mentioned it in my other build, or yeah, in my other build. But for some reason, I just, I don't know. I kind of needed a break from Sulani, and maybe you guys are kind of feeling that too. Whenever there's a new pack and people are super excited about it, they, not they, but just in general on YouTube, if you follow a lot of simmers, they just kind of, I don't know, it's just overkill in my opinion. It's just so many beach houses and island uh, builds going on on YouTube. So I thought maybe uh, you guys could take a little break with me from Sulani. Uh, not that there's anything wrong with it. And if you've been enjoying Sulani builds, then, you know, I'll power to you. But for me personally... I needed a small break so I started building on this little lot in Windenburg it's on the island of Windenburg the OG island so <laughs> and I've been wanting to build a lighthouse for a long time but I wasn't really able to create the lighthouse that I was envisioning because at the time we didn't have terrain tools so I couldn't make you know it kind of built into the rock and uh have the house up on a hill and once we got terrain tools i've been wanting to make a lighthouse for a long time and i've been kind of thinking of how to do it and i've had some inspiration photos saved for a while so here we are and i'm really excited to show you guys i fell in love with this little lot and the uh man the elder that i made to live here and so his name is Roy and in my mind he was a fisherman that kind of uh, fished from in between Wittenberg and Brindillon Bay because uh, I don't really know how all the worlds fit together but I kind of imagined that Wittenberg is across a bay or uh, a small, I don't know, but Basically, you could get from Windenburg to Brindle Bay by boat. That's kind of what I've always thought. So, um, I kind of imagined that Roy was a fisherman and his father owned this lighthouse. And then when he passed away, uh, Roy inherited the lighthouse. So, he's been living here ever since. And uh, when he retired, he just kind of stayed here and tended to the lighthouse. He has a cat named uh, Kilo. I think that's how you say it. Or Kylo. Kilo. Um, basically, the idea of it is I was looking at maritime flags and kind of what they mean. And there's one for the letter K. I think it's Kilo, but you guys can correct me if I'm wrong because I don't know how to pronounce it. But it means uh, would like to communicate with you. And I thought that was really funny because I kind of had in mind that this cat was a talkative cat. So maybe uh, he was a stray and Roy found him and they've just been inseparable ever since. 
so um i thought that was a perfect name for him but roy uh he just kind of lives out his life here enjoys his time he's kind of a loner uh he's gloomy lives outdoors and he's a cat lover so he gets extra special uh feels when he hangs out with his cat um but yeah i had a lot of fun with terrain tools and uh honestly i'm still kind of learning how to use them they're very temperamental or can be so it takes a lot of trial and error to figure those out and not to mention the hundreds of rocks <laughs> that i place on this lot so make sure you guys use move objects if you download this lot for your game because otherwise all of your rocks might possibly go away and uh yeah but i i really wanted to have that kind of rocky cliffside look so um i littered the or i tried to litter most of it with rocks and different sized rocks kind of uh encasing the lighthouse as if it's built into the rock so i hope you guys like this lot i know i do i I don't know. I have a very special place in my heart now for Roy and his cat. <laughs> um, so yesterday was July 4th. Uh, did you guys do anything special? Um, or did you just stay home? I actually went to a cookout with some of my friends. One of my friends lives kind of in the country and not like super country. She has some houses that like live around uh, her property but it's kind of out of the way. So it was just really nice to hang out with everybody, our friends and eat good food. There's so much food. And then my husband, he is a self-proclaimed uh, fire expert. So he built a nice bonfire for us. And uh, that was really, really nice just to kind of sit around the fire and talk and um, you know, eat our food and i uh, was tasked with making a fruit salad so i got some really nice watermelon strawberries and blueberries um, from the farmer's market and oh my gosh it was so good probably the best watermelon i've ever had that i can remember and what i did was i got a cookie cutter in the shape of a star and I cut out the watermelon into the star shapes and then I put it together with the other fruit in a bowl and I got so many compliments on it and it was kind of funny because I didn't really like it wasn't that much effort to me um it, it was literally just cutting up the watermelon and then using the cookie cutter um to make the star shape so it wasn't that big of a deal but uh, everyone was like, oh my gosh, it's so cute. Um, so basically, your girl won the cookout with her little star watermelons. <laughs> so as you could probably tell in the video, uh, the color changed in <laughs> on my screen. Um, I've been having an issue with my reshade lately, and I'm not sure how to fix it entirely because... I reinstalled reshade and also uh, the reshade files that I had and I don't think it's really any fault of reshade there's nothing wrong with reshade in itself I think it's just me because a couple um, weeks ago I was having like some issues with my game it was being kind of glitchy so I was like okay maybe it's reshade maybe i did something wrong um so i tried to delete most of the files in there but i think i may have deleted something i wasn't supposed to or maybe i deleted some shaders that i wasn't supposed to but either way um something happened so mm -hmm. as you can probably tell um and I don't know if this is just a glitch with the sims or if it's me but there's like transparency issues with the um, thumbnails down there and I don't understand why that is but only on some things and it's so strange so I don't know what's going on with that so I 
have to figure that out. But uh, I switched um, my reshade to Technicolor. Some of you guys have been asking me which reshade I use, and it's Technicolor by OK OK Ru, OK Ru, uh, O K R U E E, and it's a really nice reshade. It's it has good contrast, it has good color, so I use that one quite a bit. Or Picture Moby's uh, Ami Amibe. Uh, I never know how to say that, but their reshades are amazing, always amazing. Uh, but they just did a new one called Clear Bloom, and it's a little more complicated in how you have to install it, but it's totally worth it. And they have uh, really easy instructions on how to install it. So yeah, the reshade is um not like it doesn't really do anything to your game except for change the brightness or the color or the depth of field also called doff so it edits your game in that way but otherwise it's not like crazy or anything so if you're one to like uh i don't really want to edit my screenshots that much it's honestly a lifesaver because all you got to do is um, install whichever reshade that you want and then take your screenshot and they look beautiful and it's it saved me a lot of time I will go in and edit some screenshots further maybe sometimes but it's not often usually it does all the heavy lifting up front so I didn't I don't really mind it I, I really like it I highly uh, recommend it to you guys if you if you've been kind of like on the fence in wanting to use it or not so yeah um so we're all the way through the exterior now we are going on to the interior and the whole idea of the interior for me was to just make it as cozy as possible because i feel like i mean not all elders are this way but i was just trying to make sure that whatever I did on the inside kind of matched the sim that I made for this particular home and if you decide to download this and you don't want Roy to, to live here then you know by all means change it uh, to whatever you like but um, honestly I don't really make a lot of elder sims and I thought to myself I need to change that so I thought this would be a perfect Kind of opportunity to create an elder sim and a lot for him and his gorgeous little tabby cat uh the cat was inspired by my own tabby uh whose name is rigby and he's very much all of the traits that i chose for um kilo <laughs> uh, He's very talkative as well and he's a prowler and investigator and he just loves exploring which gets him in trouble a lot of the times but I love him. He's very affectionate and sweet which is what I imagined uh, Kilo to be as well. And I really love these little banners that came with uh, Get Together. I thought they looked kind of like maritime flags. So I decided to put those up there. Maybe those were on his ship at one time. And yeah, so I just wanted to make the inside as cluttered as possible. And just, you know, kind of like he's collected quite a few things over the years. And um, he lives very simply, not too flashy. He's a fisherman, so he's more of a practical guy. So... Yeah, that's kind of what I was imagining with uh, the interior. So I found this little tabby um, statue from Cats and Dogs, I think it's from, and I was like, yes, perfect. This is kind of the point at which I was like, okay, I need to make a tabby cat for this guy. Cause I thought it would be so cute if like, maybe, um, you know, like I said before, he was a stray and Roy found him and brought him on his ship. So, um, so Kilo is kind of like this uh, sailor kitty. I thought that would be so cute. So I was really excited about that. And then I think there's a photo or a, a painting from Cats and Dogs. It's like this older 
sailor guy with a cat and i was like yes this is perfect this is roy i thought it would be kind of weird to include the painting in the house though like i don't think he'd be the type of guy that would have a painting of himself and his cat like he's not that crazy <laughs> so i was like all right you know i'll just leave that out but that painting was definitely an inspiration for me early on when i started building so if you check that out if you have cats and dogs check out that painting and you'll see what i mean but yeah, so I thought it would be kind of cool to include the kind of worn fishing ad in the back here. Maybe these uh, uh, paneling, wood panels are reclaimed and they're just in here. So I don't know, just another nod to his fisherman uh, profession back in the day. So now we're going upstairs to his bedroom and it's pretty simple honestly and I wish that this bed had more uh, comforter swatches because it's a, actually a really nice bed especially for um, elder sims or more traditional builds, uh, more traditional type sims you know but not all the time do the swatches match so i'm a little upset that that bed doesn't have more at least more neutral type uh swatches but i am happy that they did add more swatches to the doors especially the more basic doors so i'm i'm pretty okay with that and what i've heard is they're going to add more swatches to more things in the future and the doors and the arches were just kind of a starting point. And I was so excited to use this little lighthouse lamp. I thought that would be so cute on his desk. Um, just a nod to the you know lighthouse he lives in. And yeah, so his bedroom is pretty simple. I don't think that cats regularly sleep on the beds you would provide for them. I think they just kind of sleep wherever they want to, just like real life. But I put a little bed I think you might see it later but I put a little bed next to his bed and I thought it would be nice to have one of those high back chairs from cats and dogs honestly I used a ton of stuff from cats and dogs in this build so if you don't have a lot of packs this uh this build will probably be pretty good for you um you know if you just had cats and dogs and maybe jungle adventure I have a few things from Sulani like the little fish um, hanging fish thing and the lifesaver there but most of this stuff is base game and cats and dogs so you should be fine so now the last thing i did was i cluttered up a part of the lighthouse and you're you have access to it if you had more than one sim you could possibly make this part of the build another bedroom and that could work probably and it'd be kind of cool, you know, to have a bedroom inside of the lighthouse. <laughs> Unfortunately, I couldn't fit another set of stairs to the very top of the lighthouse, otherwise I would. But yeah, so. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this build and then we're going into the screenshots and I will see you again soon. Bye!